so hey guys you know they're from tecto heights and in this video i'm going to be telling you everything that you need to know about oxygen os for poco f1 what other youtubers didn't mention about so without any further delay let's just jump right into the video Before we further continue, make sure to have an unlocked bootloader and a custom recovery installed. Once you have that, charge your phone up to 100% or even 90% and boot into TWRP. Now click on mount and select storage where you have downloaded or placed necessary required files. In my case, they are in internal storage. Now go to wipe, select advanced wipe, check cache, Dalvi cache, system and data only. Then swipe to wipe them. Now press the home button and click install, select oxygen OS file. Press and add more zips and select disable force encryption file. After this, do not switch off or even reboot your phone if you don't know what you are doing. It will take maximum of 5 minutes. In my case, it took 1 minute and 51 seconds to finish. After that, click on reboot and wait for another 2 to 5 minutes. All you have to do is to set it up like a new phone just with a twist. Select start and proceed in the following order. Agree. No thanks, no thanks, and again no thanks. Connect with your Wi-Fi or you can even skip this step as of now. Don't copy data and skip Gmail as of now, you can set all of this later. Deselect all and accept. Now do not click on add phase data. Skip it or else your phone's biometric protection won't work. Gestures won't work apart from double tap to wake. Set screen calibration to default and choose your desired font. Boom. Now I know that you have already went through other Oxygen and Spoke Up 1 videos, so I won't be wasting time on features and setting up face unlock. You can watch other videos as well. First issue that you might encounter is that Google apps were forcefully crashing. Simply go to Play Store and update all of them, even the Google app itself and Google Play services if you are a beta tester. Now go to settings. Apps and notification. Select all apps with system apps to be shown and enabled. Search for Google Play services, service framework, and Google app itself. Clear their data and you won't notice any issue with the Google apps. Unix camera and Gcam are working fine. Slow motion at 960fps and 4K at 60fps is as perfect as on MIUI. You can set animations to 0.5x so that you can improve the speed of already a powerful device to much more extent. App openings are super fast and animations are smooth as butter. Full screen option for apps and setting lets you to utilize the complete 18.7-9 aspect ratio display just like in MIUI and it works perfectly. To demonstrate MX Player when set to default it plays in 18 is to 9 and it gives a notch hidden effect like hide notch effect. While with the full screen enabled it utilizes the complete display and as you can see that MX Player is playing video even covering the notch side screen. Now this is a GSI ROM and fails the safety net test which other YouTubers didn't mention about but uh, a lot of you guys were asking about it in their comment section below. Coming to the PUBG moment, this ROM plays PUBG at its best. It's even better than the Pixel Experience and Lining Edge OS after using each of them for almost a week. Touch lag issue isn't there at all, but one thing where this ROM compromises is battery life. A complete PUBG match may lead to 15-20% to battery drain, which isn't bad, but MIUI is just better. Although this Sunday I got 8 hours and 30 minutes of screen on time when I was just watching movies and uh, I had played PUBG but uh, for almost 1 hour and 44 minutes. But literally, now without the touch lag, this room is my favorite one. So that's all we have got today. If you have any query or feedback, make sure to comment down in the comment section below. I do read them every day and I make sure to reply them as well. If you like this video, give a thumbs up. In case you subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my channel. I have started uploading videos after a really long time. So yes, I do need your help and uh, if you are going to watch my other videos, like uh, the upcoming videos it will be great for me this is signing off and i will see you this coming thursday because i upload video every tuesday thursday and saturday have a nice day